Welcome to the show. My guest is Janelle. Janelle, why are you here? I'm here because I've been abusive to my son since he was about six months. Um, when he was about six months, he was crying for a long time and he was getting on my nerves, so I taped his mouth up and I put him in the closet. The closet was only about this big. It wasn't a regular closet. You taped his mouth up shut? And then I went to sleep. Like two hours later, I woke up and I remembered that he was in the closet and he was sleeping. He was laying on the floor. He could be crying for whatever reason, or he could be laughing. I would still smack him. When he was about four, I smacked him. I beat him up pretty bad, and I said, go sleep in the trash, because that's where you sleep, you trash, just like your father. You just like your father. Then I went to sleep again, and I left him there. When I woke up, he was still in the trash, because he was afraid that if he got up, I would beat him again. Honestly, I, I don't even... I don't even know what to say to that. You ever seen my show before? Yes. Then you know you should tell your story standing up, right? Yes. Because he looked just like his father. I didn't see him as my son. I saw him as his son. That's how I could do it. But you know, you talk about taping his mouth when he was how old? He was about six months. You could have killed him. I was trying to shut him up. But off. you talk about this like you're ordering a sandwich. I, no motion, no, oh, Steve, you know, I'm crying, nothing. He was smiling at me, and he was telling me he loved me. And I was hating him, just looking at him. And I said, it's about time I do something. I could have kept abusing him. I would have did it. Nobody really knew. But I called DHS to come get him. But he knew, right? He knew he was being abused. That abuse. is why I made him go. And how long did this take, four years? Five. Five years. Well, I stopped the abuse after five years. You're not me. No, you're right. You're damn right I'm not you. So you think... What are you smirking about? Because I can. You because you don't know, know me. How do you, how do you smirk? How do you even fix a <laughs> smile on your face when you talk about abusing your son? I'm not talking about abusing my son. You know what? Don't rest on my chair. I don't want you to rest on anything. <laughs> Keep asking all the time. Is this, is this real? Is this real? Is this real? It is, because okay. I can tell by the look on your face that you really are disgusted with me. Yeah, I am. After a while, he actually tried to fight back, but he was so little that that pissed me off even more. So I would beat him worse. And when you say you beat him, how'd you beat him? Punching him, kicking him. Smacking him, throwing stuff at him. Just about anything imaginable. I had somebody to beat up. Everybody was beating up on me, so I could beat up on him. I actually enjoyed beating my son. It's hard to do the show sometimes, it really is. When I think about somebody doing something to my son like you did to yours, and I want to, like, Rip the studio apart. Your father knew. I what? smacked him on the, I was on the phone with his father. His father made me mad and I smacked him. And all, his, all he did was like, don't smack my son. He could have called the cops. I called the people because I wanted help. Beat him, you slapped him, you kicked him, you taped his mouth shut, you put him in the closet, you met him sleep in the garbage. And in the closet. And you say it with a smirk on your face. I still see my son on the weekends. I don't beat him no more. When's the last time you hit your son? Last week. Oh, yeah. Here, you want to sit? <laughs> good enough for your son, right? Should be good enough for you, right? Imagine your son laying in that. That's nice. That's real nice. No, it's more trash than that. Oh. <laughs> you know, half of the I didn't know you did to my son. So all that you talking, no, 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 no. I really want to choke out of you right you now. You knew, you knew. Don't, he gonna now, get up. All right, you want to holler at me? Out of here. You want to holler at me? He knew. And I told I him know. from the get. 
So I'm bad. So he ain't no better. Knew, you said if somebody did that to your son, you would have did whatever you did. No. He knew. He you knew. Get out my face. You think he knew. He wants you to come out here and throw down my stage. I'm sorry. I threw my cards down. I don't even know what your name is. Gerald. Gerald? Yeah. How yeah. did you get custody of your son? I had to keep fighting through the court system. She wouldn't, every time we went to court, she'd cry and wouldn't say half a in court. Without no proof, you don't have, I don't have nothing but her word against my word. But I kept fighting and I finally got custody of my son. Does your little boy have problems because of what has happened to him? None. He's okay then. And he loves her to death. Isn't that sad? And she talks about today, she's here because she wants her son back. She will never get him back. Do you hit her? I hit her one time. And one, I had one... my son in my hand leaving to take him with me. And she came with two big butcher knives in her hand. And I told her, you get too close to me, I'm going to hit you. She don't have supervised visitation. So she can take my son anywhere she wants. I think you take a copy of this show and you go to the judge and you say, I'm the bad one, huh? I came at you with a butcher knife, though. I came at her with a butcher knife because he was beating the crap out of me. You a lie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I look bad because I'm telling you the truth. When he not I telling you the truth. When for real, for real. He knew the whole time, and he done beat me up three times in front of my son. You lying. I'm not going to stand up here and lie on him. He never would abuse my son. That's the truth. But that's because he wasn't around half the time. She abused him now? No, he would never hurt my son. I'm but not going to come out here and lie. But you would. I'm not going to lie on him and say that he would abuse my son. <laughs> when I called the for help, he wouldn't help me. I don't have nobody for me. I don't have no parents. I don't have nothing. It's not funny. I wasn't smiling because I thought it was cute. He took advantage of me, and then he left me with the baby. Did you take advantage of this young girl? No. I was 19. He told me he loved me. And then I, I did was it. his girlfriend. At that point, I he didn't love you. He had a girlfriend. I did when love I got you, but I don't where love I was you. Because I was having a baby. I don't want to be with him. I'm really trying not to tell grab the truth, her. He got to tell the truth, too. He beat me up three times, mm. and every time he did beat you me beat up, he was in front of my son. Did you no, beat her up? I did not beat her up. He me up with the knife incident. He is 6'4". He was beating the crap out of me. My son was two. He was standing there. I thought you wasn't coming at me Did he call? No. I said I did come after you at the knife. Yes, I did. She's probably the most honest guest we had. I mean, I'm not giving her... I'm her, keeping it 100. Uh, I did what I did. Did you know she was hitting him? I knew she hit him when she called me on the phone. Why didn't you put a stop to it? I went and got my son. She'll call the cops, say I kidnapped him. That's we go to court, she'll start crying. That's a lie. I, I, you know what? I, then, as, 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 as much as I despise this woman, she tells the truth. I would have never got with you if I had all the issues that I already had. And he knew yeah. I had issues. When he met me, that's what made it me so hold easy on, to get. Hold, okay, hold on a second. You ever abuse your son? No. Never? Never. All right, you keep doing it, you keep taking care of your son. I hope that, you know, you'll protect him. You I know? will protect him. And I hope at some point that uh, things will work out better for your son, that he'll know two loving parents and not two people that are just at each other's throats all the time, okay? Thanks for being on the show. I got to go get some help. I don't. I love my son and I hate my son. I don't like to look at him for a long period of time. I'm not a bad person, but he's definitely with this baby. And he never wanted to be with me. And this is for life. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a psychologist. But I, the one thing I would say to you is I do see somebody that I think wants to make a change in their life. I think it's somebody that realizes they made mistakes, some bad mistakes. So yeah, I want to help you. I want to help you and I want to make sure that you never do that to your son again. That's why I'm here. I think you're making a powerful statement to everybody out there. Yes, I abused my son. I put a stop to it. And I want to hear you say, you're never going to do it again. Well, but I don't think it's best for him to come see I believe me you. now. I believe you. I think you need help. But I want to I just can't love him right. Are you ready to go get some help? Yeah, the sooner I get help, the sooner I get my baby back. Let's go get you some help. <laughs> <laughs>